In 2015, when Governor Akiumi Ambode was seeking votes from the electorates, he ruled out his manifesto, part of which was to construct two roads each in the 57 councils across the state. Much as the pronouncement drew shares from party supporters, many had also wondered if it was just a mere campaign gimmicks from a candidate in desperate need of votes. But it didn't take too long after a swearing in for residents to see that they were not being taken for a ride. In 2016, 114 roads were not only constructed, they were commissioned and handed over to the CDAs and CDCs to monitor and maintain. As Governor Akiumi Ambode plans the construction of an additional 181 roads, the crew of Lagos Community Update visited K2 Centra and Ajibola CDAs in Ekosi Sherry Local Council Development Area to see how the roads provided for these two communities in 2016 are faring. Our first stop was Balogun Oyero Street of K2 Centra Community. Residents said few decades before now, Balogun Oyero was a nightmare to both motorists and pedestrians. They revealed that they had prayed for the attention of the government without success. However, with the execution of his pledge on roads, the prayers were answered. Governor Akiumi Amade came and changed the narrative. The rehabilitation, according to them, has revived economic activities. Oyero inhabitant, however, noted that the gains have not come without pains citing the decision of landlords to raise rents following the facelift. It has brought a lot of development because the rate at which they rented out their shops is even double of what it was before. Because people can buy all these cars you, you are looking at are livable. If you come in the night, right, you will not see half of it. Because those people marketing at the other side they are the one that park this year, or rather they wanted to buy something. They park here and cross over to buy what they need. Later they come and build their vehicle. So if this road is not developed, if we don't, they won't have such an advantage. One of the charges given by the state government to the leadership of the community development associations and community development committees is to take full ownership of the road and street lights provided with them. So we ask, how are these leaders taking ownership of this project? We have complained to the Chakon Council Chairman, and the Council Chairman was supposed to deploy people here, but uh, they did not do that because we have told him several times time without no numbers that they should put uh, this uh, neighbor people to come and clear these people, or they bring two fair crew to come and to this place. Please, this place is so jam packed that you cannot even see we have to pass or we have to. Uh, we, have, we always have many accidents here. Adebinkme Street is another road fixed by the state government to give relief to its users. The ever busy road is an access link for those connecting Ikurodu Road. When the road was chosen for construction, residents and visitors could not conceal their feelings. They rolled out their drums in anticipation of democratic benefits. Uh, since they repaired this road, a lot of things have been changed because the community have been happy. We have street lights on it, even generator working, even the light or no light, the generator, they are maintaining it, they foil it for us and we put the light on for every daily basis. The road is very okay for the community. We are very happy. Let me seize the opportunity to thank His Excellency Governor Akiyomi Ambodi. He has brought development to us. As you can see, this road is just like an edifice to us. We cherish it so much, we love it. We like it. But before the games, residents painted the pictures of the pains. This place was not trackable, talkless of motorable. 
we have to go one side on a single foot before you get to bus stop. Even though if you have a visitor, if a visitor gets to the bus stop there, they will tell you, they will call you that they can't just attempt this road. Now we are happy. Having expanded yield some constructing roads, one thing is lacking amongst Lagosians, maintenance culture. This road is just by the market. A lot of people come to this area, to, this is an international market, and the fact you cannot stop them not to come. People come in a day and night to buy goods, and tell, this is where we have the problem. We are trying on daily basis, there's a meeting going on now, we are meeting the ballet. Eh? We are meeting the ballet to, to put a stop to all this trading on the walkway. Eh? We have been, there was a time the Kai people came in mm, to do kind of general reading. It was tough that day. Most of them were indicting the CDA. That's our work. We have to protect this road. And this is what we have been doing. <music>